Okay, a few things to note here. Here's the difference between an HTML website and a PHP website. So on an HTML website, what happens is when a user is accessing the website, the, user will, uh, the browser will send a request to the server. So the server will look for the file that has been requested. Let's say in this case it's index.html. So when it finds the file, the server will send the file back to the user and then the browser will display this uh, information. Simple and straightforward from the user to the server, the file is retrieved and sent back to the user, just like that. But on a PHP website, something else actually happens. So when the user sends a web request to the server, the server will look for the file. Now, because the file has a .php extension at the end, the server will request the PHP processor to intervene. So this file is sent to the processor first before it's sent back to the user. So the processor will do some processing of PHP. Now, in places where information is requested from the database, the processor will go to the database, get that information and uh, put it as part of this document. Okay, so it will ask for information, information sent back, then it will add this information to the page. So essentially a PHP processor is creating an HTML document. So by the time this thing is done, the, the processor is done, the file that remains is HTML only, and then it's sent back to the browser. So no PHP uh, data is sent to the user, even though the file original file contains PHP in there, the file that is sent to the user has no PHP in it. So the browser doesn't see a difference per se because it will send a request and only receive HTML, whether it's a PHP website or an HTML website. So by the time the HTML gets to the user, the PHP processing is done and nothing uh, can, the PHP processor can change anything on the user's computer because it completely runs on the server. All right, so in this case where we are making our own website, the server and the browser are on one computer. So we'll be sending a request to the server, which is the same computer we are using right now, but in this case, it's Apache. Apache is the, the software that's uh, turning our computer into a web server. So this is one computer in our case, but in normal situations, the user is separate and the server is separate. But this is a process that actually happens uh, during a web request.